Hey viewers, this is the second part of the retail billing software project. If you haven't watched the first part, please go and watch it first. In this video, we will be adding variables that we are going to use in our project. First, let's create our variables for the name and phone number, bill number, email, search bill, product, prices, quantity, subtotal, tax, and total. Here, we will generate a random bill number using the rendit function and assign it to a variable. We will also need some strings to use in combo boxes. Let's create a string for categories. Now let's create a string for fruit subcategories. Next we will create a string for apples. For both types we will set the prices. Moving on to bananas. We will once again set the price for both types. Let's create another string for drink subcategories. Under the fruiting subcategory, we will set the prices for each type. Now let's set the price for Fanta. Once again, we will do this for the both types. Let's take a look at our UI part and create buttons, text fields and other elements. First, we need a customer details area to capture the following information. Mobile number, name, email. We will also set the background color and configure the height, width and other factor according to our needs. After capturing the customer details, we will move on to the product details. We will use a combo box to select the items the customer wants. We need 4 combo boxes for the following. Categories, Subcategories, Product, Price Next, we need a build area. We can achieve this using a text widget. Feel free to add any additional configuration you require. To search for a bill, we need an entry box and a button. Let's create a entry widget with the appropriate background and a button with an icon. At the bottom left, we need a bill counter. We can add an entry widget just for displaying the total bill amount. Finally, we will add buttons. We need 6 buttons in total. Add to cart, generate, save, print, clear, exit. First, let's import all the icons or images that we will be using. Now, let's create the buttons and configure them according to our desired background and style. 